Welcome, Creepy SMR. I'm your host, Asami Crescent. We have another treat for us to explore from the depths of the internet. So sit down, dim the light, and lock your doors. On July 18, 2020, NASA launched a new vessel. Six astronauts boarded Goliath 1 and set off to prepare the first human colony on the moon. Preparations were expected to take a year, but the vessel carried six months of additional food past expectation in case of emergency. Radio communication was only possible from the side of the moon facing the Earth. Astronauts were told to stay in this area to maintain radio contact. Astronauts had landed on the eastern border of the Serenitas. This lunar mare was largely covered in basalt and held few craters, making it the perfect place for colonization. The goal of the astronauts was simple. Map the area of colonization and blueprint construction building. The only real danger on the moon was meteors striking it, as the moon was devoid of any atmosphere. The electronic journal of the day's events were to be sent back to NASA along with any interesting photos or video. Although it was to be seen if anything exciting happened, it was the moon after all. First few months of the journals were fairly normal. The astronauts were right on schedule with predicted progress. They wasted no time to blueprint the area. Everything in the normal town was to be in the future town. A grocery store, a school, a hospital, among other things. Of course, these supplies would need to be sent via other vessels. It wasn't their mission to build anything. Then, 17th of September of that year, daily report did not come. It was speculated it was forgotten. But it didn't come the next day, either. Radio communication was not successful. Astronauts and was only met with static. The radio tower was seen as working perfectly. It seemed the astronauts were simply not within range of it. Several missing videos were later recovered from the site. The following is a description of each video. The astronauts were told to label their videos by date, using the numbers following the date if more than one video was recorded. First video was labeled appropriately as Sept 16, 2020. It is around 10 minutes long and is mostly spent examining small craters near the border of the mare. Near the end of the video, astronaut talks about hearing scratching noise from the crater, but it wasn't audible. The journal sent to NASA for the 16th of September did not mention this noise. 
second video is labeled appropriately as Sept 17, 2020. This video was focused around the craters, specifically near the Bessel Crater. This is an exceptionally large crater, over nine miles across and a mile deep. The plan was to eventually build a large bridge across the crater. This video is roughly the same length of the previous video. The astronauts begin to make notes of the crater in the scratching sound. Heard again. This time, however, This time, the sound is quite audible and appears to be coming from the basin of the crater. The sound becomes so loud that it begins to irritate the astronaut. One of the men looks down over the edge to find the source of the sound. A force unseen by the camera suddenly pulls the astronaut into the crater. His screams are heard briefly, but the camera cut short. The third and final video is labelled Code 17. 7 zero, zero. Please help. The date is unknown. But it can be assumed it is probably the next day. It begins with an astronaut in his oxygen tent. Talking to a camera, he explains in a calm voice he has been unable to contact the radio. He explains how. Two of the astronauts have been horribly slaughtered. At this point, tears start to roll down his face, but he continues in a calm tone. The scratching noise from the previous videos is heard suddenly and sharply. The camera is knocked into adjacent wall of the tent, and we listen to the astronaut pleading followed by a heavy thump. The man continues to plead and cry out for help, stating that he can't breathe. The camera is completely turned away from the man, so he does not see what is attacking him. We see blood begin to splatter the adjacent wall. The man continues to scream for help and is now completely bawling. Blood splatters against the wall for a second time. The sound of bones snapping and flesh being torn from them. Its pleas for help suddenly stop. And they are just reduced to an inane screaming and crying. As blood splatters against the wall again, a bit of brown look now mixes with the bright. Red. The tearing sound has been that of pushing and sloshing. Now the only sound the man makes is the quiet death rattle. Suddenly the man goes silent and several of his organs are tossed near the direction of the wall. Coincidentally, the night of September 18th was a red moon. None of the bodies of the astronauts from Goliath 1 were ever fully recovered. Colonization of the moon has been postponed until further notice. The team sent to investigate the radio communication problems astronauts were having refused to talk to the public. 
of the four men repair team to have committed suicide since returning to Earth. While three videos were recovered, a photograph was also recovered. It is still unknown as to what the photograph is. Thank you.